don't know. Boy, you are too happy. It's got food. Being home, I mean, I love it. I mean, it, it's one of the best feelings I've ever had. But at the same time, I feel, uh, I feel ashamed because when uh, somebody who, who was a good friend before I left, who became an even better friend during deployment, uh, he didn't return home. And I still haven't found the courage to call his wife or his family yet. And for me internally, that is extremely hard. I, I, I want to call him um, and just talk to her and give her my condolences, but I just can't find the courage to do it right now. I mean, I can't accept this for just me. I have to accept it for everyone else, for every man, every woman who is in the Army. I have to take it for not just in the Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, for every one of those guys because it's not wasn't just my fight, it's their fight. I mean, and you can't put a fight or a conflict that it involves so many people to just one person. You have to, you have to take it and spread it throughout the rest of the armed forces. I mean, because without them, I wouldn't have been here.